Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we'll be talking about sub fork and half fork. We already mentioned fork a couple of time. We mentioned half fork in the previous video, the DAO attack. So in this video, we will learn how it works. So this is what happens back then. Ethereum in July 2016 at block number 1,919,999. What they did is they introduced a new rule that allows to reverse the logic in the smart contract that allowed the attacker to steal ether that we see in the DAO attack video. After that, it turns into hard fork. We will talk about it in a while. So the Ethereum chain continues and they reverse the fund and return back to the owners. At the same time, as we discussed, there were people who were unsatisfied with this decision. So they decided not to change their software to the new hard fork. So hard fork basically is a new software or new upgrade to the blockchain software which allows certain things that were not previously allowed. So what happens is, this group of people continue mining all the way and they split up into their own version. That version is called Ethereum Classic. So we have Ethereum and Ethereum Classic in the exchange and the reason for it to happen is the DAO attack that resulted into hard fork and split it into two versions. Another example of fork is Bitcoin. Bitcoin on 20th July 2017 accepted segregated witness which was a soft fork on block number 476,768. We already talked about what a segregated witness is. Since it is a soft fork, there is nothing like splitting the chain, it does not happen. We will understand why in a couple of seconds. So as you can see here, the chain goes smooth after the soft fork. However, there were some people who were not satisfied with this decision. They were against the segregated witness. They believe segregated witness favors the people who treat Bitcoin as digital asset rather than a means of transaction. We know segregated witness does not increase the block size. Instead, it segregates the signatures and other things from the transaction field, which covers around 60% of it. So it allows more transactions to fit in the transaction field now. So those who are against the segregated witness propose to increase the block size to 8 megabyte. So on 1st of August at block number, 478,558, what happens is Bitcoin continues but there were some people who switched to Bitcoin Cash. So on Bitcoin Cash, the block size is increased to 8 megabyte, whereas on Bitcoin, the block size remains the same. Hence, hard fork was occurred. Again on 24th of October 2017, at block number 491,407, another hard fork occurred. What happened was, people were unhappy with the ASIC situation where people use ASIC's application-specific integrated circuits to mine Bitcoin, which makes GPU redundant, so people were unhappy with this. They want to go back to the GPU mining, hence the chain splits up into Bitcoin Gold. So three fork occur in the Bitcoin blockchain, soft fork on 20th July 2017, then hard fork on 1st of August 2017, and another hard fork on 24th October 2017. So as you can see, it can happen very freely, because it is a distributed system. The participant decides the future for themselves. If someone is unhappy and if there is enough support, then fork can happen, hard or soft fork. There is no central authority to say no and this is not allowed. This is the beauty of the system. So this is how things work. Not every time the hard fork results in split. If everyone had agreed for block size to be 8 megabyte here, then there won't be any split. There will be only one chain, the upgraded one with block size 8 megabyte. So fork is a term reference to software. Forking the software, not forking the chain. Here the soft fork occurred, whereas hard fork occurred here. Fork is a common term in GitHub, which is first to making copy of a software. Soft and hard fork are different, but in general, fork is a copy of software, not a copy of chain. If there occur physical split of chain like here, and suppose you own 100 ethers before the hard fork, then after the hard fork, you will own 100 ethers here in the Ethereum version and as well as you will own 100 ether in the Ethereum Classic version. It is because there exist two chain parallel and your transactions remain on both the version. So anything that happens before the split remain on both the chain. And this explains how hackers steal 50 million worth of ether from the DAO. After the split that amount got reverted back to the owner in the Ethereum version and again the hacker also walk away with the 50 million worth of ether in the Ethereum Classic version. So this is how amount got duplicated, on one version the amount got reverted, whereas in another chain the hacker walked away with the amount. And again if you look at Bitcoin, if you had owned one Bitcoin before 1st of August 2017, then you will have one Bitcoin along with one Bitcoin cash and one Bitcoin gold. So these are some real life examples on the hard and soft fork, we will continue our discussion in the next video and on this note I will see you in the next video.